Hey everyone, Corner Pinoy X here once again, and today we'll be continuing our journey in exploring potential inspirations Capcom may have utilized in order to create or bring back monsters within the Sunbreak expansion. With this video, we'll be focusing on inspirations Capcom may have used to bring back one specific family of monsters, the Magalas. First, we'll look into the overarching inspiration that brought back the Gore, Shigaru, and Chaotic Gore Magala within Sunbreak. Then, we'll be looking into each individual creature, observing their characteristics and matching them to potential folklore, mythology, and fairy tales which may have inspired the return of these individuals. First, let's look into what could be the overarching inspiration that brought back the Magala family within Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. With the Magala monsters returning in Sunbreak, there are two potential inspirations Capcom possibly referenced that doesn't involve any kind of folklore or mythology. The first possible influence of their return revolves around the title of the Gore and Shigara Magala, the Dark Eclipse and Bright Eclipse. This is an obvious nod to the real-life phenomena of both the solar and lunar eclipses, with Gore Magala's introduction of covering the screen in darkness possibly referencing a solar eclipse, and Shigara Magala shining brightly in front of a full moon likely referencing a lunar eclipse. Chaotic Gore Magala doesn't share the Eclipse title with the other two monsters, however it's possible that this creature may serve as an allusion to a partial or annular eclipse, where the golden scales of the variant resemble the light that forms around a partial eclipse. Along with the Eclipse reference, it's also possible that all Magala monsters serve as a play on the lunar cycle, with Gore representing a new moon, Chaotic Gore the half or quarter moon, and Shigara Magala the full moon. With all these parallels towards the cycle of celestial bodies, this could explain Shigara Magala's previous title in the series as the Heavenly Revolving Dragon. Another inspiration behind the return of the Magalas may be linked to their abilities of the Frenzy Virus, and how the Frenzy Pandemic mirrors real-life pandemics which have had high fatalities in the past such as that of the Black Death. With Sunbreak's storyline focusing on the Curio Plague, the Frenzy Virus was alluded to by Dr. Tadori as another deadly plague that swept across the world of Monster Hunter in the past. As the Frenzy Virus was a previous incident, this parallels the likes of the Black Death as both are considered deadly viruses that cause severe casualties in history, and despite advancements in medicine, traces of both plague sources are still present even to this day. Shifting back our focus into folklore, mythos, and fairy tale inspirations, the Gore and Shigaru Magala's overall appearance throughout the series likely represent two supernatural beings in mythos which are considered as opposites to one another, demons and angels. Gore Magala's overall characteristics are comparable to most depictions of a demon, especially when the monster enters its frenzied state. Shigaru Magala, on the other hand, takes on a more heavenly appearance by comparison, with its golden scales illuminating the skies similar to both historic and modern interpretations and depictions of an angel. With Gore Magala's Veil of Darkness dissolving as it evolves into Shigaru Magala, it's possible that this may reference how some demons depicted in mythos are actually angels which have fallen from grace, an example being Lucifer. In fact, the depiction of Shigaru Magala as a heavenly entity may be a reflection of how Lucifer is depicted as an angelic being despite having fallen from grace. The title of Bright Eclipse may even reference Lucifer's own known title of Morning Star. Chaotic Gore Magala, however, has an obvious giveaway to its overall inspiration. The armor set obtained from the variant for one of the body types is named Nephilim, which is the overall inspiration for the monster's design. With Gore being a demon and Shigaru being an angel, it's only fitting that chaotic Gore is designed as the in-between. Whilst the Nephilim mythos varies across different cultures, with some depicting them as giants while others depict them as being half-angelic, one particular depiction which Capcom portrayed in the Devil May Cry series is that they are a hybrid race spawned from the union of angels and demons. Thus, these individuals are known to have both angelic and demonic characteristics, a description fitting that of Chaotic Gormagala as the variant's overall appearance tethers between its demonic juvenile form and its angelic elder dragon evolution. 
And that, everyone, is currently all of the information we're going to cover here today in regards to the potential inspiration of the Gore, Shigaru, and Chaotic Gore Magala and how they've been brought back into Sunbreak and possibly even the inspiration behind the monster's overall design throughout the course of the Monster Hunter series ever since their introduction in Monster Hunter 4. Hopefully you found this fascinating and do let us know in the comments below if you have any other thoughts and opinions in regards to what may have been the inspiration behind the gore, chaotic gore, and Chigar Magala's overall design throughout the course of the Monster Hunter series. And as always, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider hitting the like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any other content that I might be doing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.